But the film was doing something else that I didn't understand. I, I've never written about it, but for instance, there's an, a dynamics between the younger teachers and the older teachers, the more staid ways of performing as a teacher and the more maybe new ways. And that existed in the school that I was teaching, and it probably exists in every school. That's in your film called The Wave. I stumbled upon a, a, a bit of human nature and psyche that might be useful. Therefore, there is, I'm grateful to that effect. And the, a movie might be made, and people might talk and, and study. You know, German culture is unique. You're the only ones I know that are really concerned about violence. You, you study it because you don't want to repeat it. Whereas in, in my culture, Dresden happened, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, our guilt just is thrown away. We, we're not concerned. We're not studying racism. We're not studying violence. You're unique. I don't know anyone else that's so concerned. But once again, you're looking at the wave, trying to understand why do we give up our freedom for the thought of being better than everyone else? And it's a lesson that we all need to, to see and hear and talk about. The experiment only took place in one week, and if my emotions were the gambit of, I've discovered how to really teach well, because people were learning rapidly. I kept coming home to my wife saying, Deanna, they're really learning. This is crazy, because I used to have little stations, and I used to have a freedom in my classroom, and now I'm very rigid, and there's just answers to every question, and everyone seems to be helping everyone else. I've stumbled upon this great way of teaching. Of course, the consequence was, was damaging to all. Um, so my emotions were like a roller coaster. One day I'm walking into the faculty room, and Robert had followed me. And I didn't anticipate that, but here he was in the faculty room, and this other teacher, Barney Tanner, who was the head of the English department, very similar to the character in your movie, glasses dropped off his nose, and he looked at this Robert and said, Robert, you don't belong here. This is the faculty room. This is for faculty only. And, and Robert looked at this Barney Tanner and said, I'm not a student, I'm a bodyguard. And I knew that he had crossed over some invisible line, what was a, a simulation that had become something real. And I realized that I was crossing over that same line. I was no longer just teaching about this thing called fascism. I was enjoying, enjoying being the leader. And that was frightening. Not because of the wave, but because of fighting for civil rights and the stopping of the war in Vietnam, I was dismissed from that school three years after the wave experiment, and I was never allowed to teach again in, in public high schools. Oh, it is working in every school. That's, people always ask, do you think the wave could take place today? Hey, go to your local school. Where is democracy? We always talk about democracy. You're not experiencing it. You're not deciding what books to read or what, what themes to pursue or how to help one another become better citizens. You're, you're not working on these ideas. You're following a curriculum that someone says is the correct curriculum or you're testing so you can get someplace else. And it's, it's a control, but you don't have control.